schoolwork got you down? Are you tired of regular games just being no fun? Well, have we got a deal for you. I'm Lisa from the Washoe County Library System, and our summer reading challenge kicks off today. <laughs> the first 1,600 kids, that's right, 1,600 to sign up, will receive a summer reading challenge activity bag full of goodies. But wait, there's more. We have a summer packed full of virtual events and activities. How much will this cost, you ask? Nothing. It's all free, free, free. And that's not all. You'll be treated to fantastic stories like this one. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood. Have you heard of her? She's pretty famous. One morning, her mother packed a basket full of delicious treats and asked her to deliver it to Grandma's house, deep in the creaky old woods. Remember, go straight to Grandma's house and don't talk to strangers, her mother cautioned. While walking a winding path through the forest, Little Red Riding Hood heard a frightening howl. And out of the shadows leapt a big, bad wolf. What are you doing out here, little girl? asked the wolf in a suspicious tone. I'm on my way to see Grandma, Little Red Riding Hood replied happily. Then realizing how late she was, Little Red Riding Hood excused herself and rushed off down the path. The wolf had a brilliant idea. He took a shortcut through the woods. He arrived at Grandma's house first and a little out of breath <gasps> knocked on the door three times. Poor Grandma. Without her glasses, she welcomed the wolf in. Oh, thank goodness, dearie. Come in, come in. I was so worried. Before she could say another word, the wolf gobbled her up. Hum, nom, 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 nom. Cramming on Granny's nightgown, frilly sleeping cap, and fluffy bunny slippers, the wolf leapt into bed, ready for the arrival of Little Red Riding Hood. A moment later, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. Who is it? he called in a cackling voice. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood! Oh, how lovely. Do come in. When Little Red Riding Hood entered the cottage, she could barely see her grandmother under the pile of blankets and covers. Grandma, your voice sounds so odd. Is something the matter? She asked with concern. Oh, I just have a slight cold, croaked the wolf, settling into his role and adding a sneeze to prove a point. But, Grandma, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood as she edged closer to the bed. Are these ears? No. Are these ears? No. Are you sure? What about these? Are these ears? Oh, okay, okay, back to the story. All the better to hear you with, my dear, replied the wolf, finally able to justify those many late-night improv classes. But, Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, are these eyes? No. Wait a minute, what about these? Are these eyes? No. Are you sure? Are you really sure? What about these? Oh, okay. Clearly I know nothing about wolves. Back to the story. All the better to see you with, my dear. The wolf crooned theatrically in a performance critics would later describe as simply a bit dated. But Grandma, what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood, her voice quivering. 
All the better to eat you with, roared the wolf, and he leapt out of bed. <gasps> Can you howl like a wolf? Why don't we try together? Let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Almost too late, Little Red Riding Hood realized that the person in the bed was not her grandmother at all. It was none other than the Big Bad Wolf. Help! She screamed. Thankfully, a woodsman chopping logs nearby heard her cry and ran towards the neat little cottage. He grabbed the wolf and made him spit out Grandmother, who was now seriously considering relocating to Florida. The woodsman chased the wolf deep into the forest, where he would never bother anyone ever again. And Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma were finally able to enjoy those delicious treats. The end. Oh great, now I'm hungry. Are we on? Hi there, I'm Lisa from the Northwest Reno Library, and if you haven't heard already, when you sign up for the Summer Reading Challenge and pick up your free bag, you're going to get a book in that bag. And that's not all. Once you log in 600 minutes of reading, either on our paper log or Beanstack, you'll be getting another free book. And that's not all. Once you log in five, bingo activities, and there are a lot of activities coming up, you are also going to get one more book. That's three books that you're going to get this summer through our reading program. And what are you going to need? Bookmarks, of course. So today we're going to make bookmarks with animals that have tails. The first thing you have to do is think about an animal that has a tail you'd like to make. I've got a few ideas. How about a tiger or a turtle, maybe a hippo? or an elephant, maybe even a cow. But today we're going to make a puppy dog. Isn't he cute? I think he's cute. All right, so you're going to need for this activity a pencil that's really sharp, and you'll need a pen, some glue, some scissors, a little bit of string or yarn, and of course, a small piece of paper. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our piece of paper into a thick letter C, just like that. And I've already cut my stuff to save time. You're also going to make a small circle and a heart and two long teardrops and then some other things to decorate with, like maybe a little pink piece for a tongue, maybe some spots to put on the animal, whatever you like. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to glue the head onto your animal's body. I'm just going to take a little glue like so and put it over there in the corner. Can you see that little shiny piece of glue? And then you're going to stick the head to the body like so. Next, you're going to glue the ears on. Put a little bit of glue on both sides of the head like that. And you'll put one ear over here. Oops and another ear over here, like so. Very cute. And then, of course, you need to put the nose on. We're gonna put the nose right in the middle, right there. Upside down heart, like so. And you're almost done. All you have to do is take your pencil that's really sharp and poke a hole all the way on the other side. See, there's the head and the tail's gonna go over there. Don't go too close to the edge or you're gonna poke a hole right through the paper through the side. And we're just gonna poke a little hole just like so right there. Do you see it? It's kind of hard to see. And then you're gonna take your yarn or string or floss, whatever you have, and you're gonna stick it right through that hole. Now it's difficult to do, so you're just gonna take your pencil and use your pencil to poke it through all the way like that. And then pull it through the other side and you're almost done. Just tie a knot in the end like that, and there you go. Now all you have left to do is decorate it. I added some dots to mine, see the little spots? 
and then two dots and a nose with the marker. And then I did some dots on where his whiskers would go and a line over his tongue. And I did some lines for his feet, his little paws. And that's all there is to it. Then you just take it and stick it in your book. And ta-da, you've got a bookmark. Thanks for joining us today. And don't forget to sign up for the Summer Reading Challenge using the Beanstack app or use one of our paper handy dandy reading logs. And don't forget to visit your local library so you can get your free activity bag while supplies last. I hope we see you there. Bye.